we're actually investigating is this beautiful pub over here which is the Prince Albert. At the moment we've got um, Cag and Craig are in there setting up so we're gonna be doing upstairs first with you guys in a minute so they're just sitting up up there upstairs would have been obviously where the family back in the 1800s would have lived up there um, I haven't really looked too much at the deaths in here because I think tomorrow would be better if we get stuff it's much better when we can look tomorrow for it thank you very much oops I just missed that step again <laughs> such a beautiful beautiful old pub and the meals I can tell you now the meals are absolutely amazing I love the old fireplace Stacy owns do you your family own it now so when did you actually or when did your family purchase it two years ago okay oh today's the anniversary well happy birthday and here's some wacky people coming in to, <laughs> to make it even more special for you <laughs> And have you heard of anything happening since you've had it? Um, I've heard of a few things from the guys' stories that they've heard from others. But yeah. Sam will be able to be in on those. Right. I've had my own experience. I never thought too much into it, but one night I was watching the cameras and there was a few orbs, I guess, that went across them. But other than that, I haven't seen too much. All right. So it was it was orbs not a white now i heard it was something fuzzy and white yeah sort of uh, yeah white on the cameras went across the okay screen okay yeah. so but apart from that do, do you spend a lot of time here at night when everybody's gone or? oh not by myself no. <laughs> <laughs> so usually when you're here it's all like I'm it's really all busy and, and <laughs> <laughs> see how we go after tonight then yeah. sam's actually the how now you are the manager uh, how would you yes. is, that, is yeah. that what you call yourself yeah manager yeah, yeah okay. it's like um, there you go. <laughs> i'm gonna go this way because you can get a better look at him oh that's better look at that um no i've just heard a few things from customers um I had one lady sitting at table 15 just there in the atrium um, and she said that she could feel someone just sitting around by this fireplace here. Right. Um, and yeah, I just heard rumours from when I first started this job that some gentleman hung himself or did something on the staircase. Okay. Um, but I don't actually know if it's true. So you don't know if that's re like when you say, yeah, like recent old time, you yeah, just don't, don't know. know. You don't know. Well, that's that's interesting because tomorrow we can do a bit more I research. I hear a lot of stories, but yeah. Just you just don't know. You haven't got the, yeah, yeah you haven't got the... So, information so you guys are in. yeah excellent so that's what we're going to do we're going to see if we can find out anything so and we always say to everybody look we don't know we really don't know it, it even if we get nothing tonight doesn't mean to say it's not haunted it just means it was a quiet night tonight so but you know we always come in with no expectations at all spin it around Ooh, no perhaps not <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll just look at Sam yes. or, or Stacey <laughs> over there. <laughs> yep, yeah. just coming up. Have we all set up? And... Yeah, um, there's only one thing we're missing. Oh, what are we missing? Um, some 20 set pieces so I can play Pac-Man. <laughs> He's just found the old arcade classics Pac-Man machine. So I'm signing off now and I'm going to play some video games. <laughs> That's all he's going to do all night, yeah. So. <laughs> now, are you, you obviously all work here? Yes. So I'm going to interview you a lot as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're now live. <laughs> um, do you have any, do you know of any stories here? Have you heard anything or have you had anything happen? I've any? Had a, had a few doors close on me every now and again, but nothing. What, slamming or? Oh, doors closed that wouldn't close normally if you left them open so okay so we got there's no pressure tonight guys because we've got not just you lot watching but we've got all these people here <laughs> all curious to know if we get anything i have both cat balls going off in both cans so, all right yeah so it's pretty weird because when we first turned the equipment on we had the edi go off so it's just the ones on the cans can you see the cat ball now yeah it's the second one now yeah. yeah it's a little bit dull just let people up so if you guys at the table, just try to keep yeah. the table with the time. Yeah. So try try not to knock the table or touch the table because those cat balls will go off. Uh, thank you, Bella. That's really kind of you.
Do you see how much you have to do it to make it go? Yeah. So yeah. No, I'm warm, but my seat is freezing cold. Mm. Yeah? Wow. It's freezing cold. What's the temperature of the seat? Seat's 18.5. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll take a random one. 16.3. So your back's warm enough, right? Yeah, possibly, but it still feels cold. Yeah. So yeah, where so you're yeah. sitting on it feels cold? Or the air around you feels cold? The seat feels cold. Well, why, does, why don't you get them off the seat and just see? Yeah. Two degrees cooler on the skin. Really? Yeah. So it is. So it is definitely two degrees cooler. Now go quiet. We're going to do an EVP session. So in between, all right. No more talking. I want you all to think pretty much of a question. So if you had anything here tonight, what would you like to ask? So I know it's hard when you're doing it for the first time, but we might as well use you a lot. Everybody thinks <laughs> everybody's thirsty. Everybody thinks that you're you don't even look like Green Reaper. <laughs> so we got no voices in there. Just <laughs> Did you hear that? What did it say? Definitely that? pregnant. Definitely what? Pregnant. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. Did you hear that? Furby is done another. Sorry? I think it was right. What did it say? Right. That was really clear, the R word. Alison, a lot of pubs back in the time also had ladies of the night floating around them. Do you reckon that might have been something they're trying to get at? Uh -huh. Right guys, we're going to do the SD's experiment. Oh, Alison, can you hear us? Oh, yeah. Really? Alison, there's an emergency. Boarding home. Did this used to be a boarding home? How long have you been here? A long time. Wow. Wow. Are we talking the 1900s? This, this place. Do you like staying in this place? Sixty-nine. Wow. So it has to be eighteen sixty-nine. Mm. Yeah. When was this it? Fifty-two. Who is the king or queen at the moment? Can you tell me about this? What country, Keg? Which country? Ooh. Yeah, Keg. Yeah. How long did you own this pub for? Somebody just left again. Liza, did you enjoy running the pub for about 30 years? Yes. Oh, no. I'd like to finish my question, but that's fine, thank you. I think he's had enough. Have you noticed how Alison's voice started off being quite comfortable and then started mm -hmm. to get more and more aggressive? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when the word information came oh, out, lady. it completely changed. It was like, I, I don't want to give information or I do want, I don't know Hello, which one I want. Hello. 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 Yeah. Does the old lady like us sitting up here, visiting her? Do you like us here? Will you scrub, <laughs> will you scrub the room?
So you want Sam to clean better? <laughs> Sammy announces. I try. <laughs> He's not Sammy though. Oh. You're Sam. Oh. Do you go by Sammy? Yeah. It's kind of decent out a bit more than... That was pretty cool. Is that anything? Yeah. yeah. So I said my name. Hey? You said my name. It said your name at the end, but then it picked it out. Oh my god. It's not very, it not not very aggressive. It's <laughs> freaking. But did it come out with any new company? Oh, yeah, we got, we got a couple of direct answers. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Heaps of direct, yeah. Okay. How long did you own the pub for? No, no how, so long how long have you been here? Long time. They said a long time. Oh, okay. I want to move down that yeah, hallway down there. Do you want to go there? Yeah, there's something there by the office. Yeah. All right. So your office is down here then? Yeah, probably just going to I can't believe I said my name. He is tall. So I'm curious with, I'm curious with Sam why he thinks there's something down there. I don't know. It's just a feeling, right? Yeah. Welcome to the world of what we do. Where everything's based around weird feelings. Like you just smell. But it's not here all the time, just sometimes. So you can smell cigarettes? Yeah. Oh, you don't care. I can't smell, it so. Is Thanks, Mel. Because you don't smoke in pubs, do you? No. And none of us start smoking. This, this now absolutely stinks. Do you yeah. smoke in here? Is it foggy in here? Or is it just a lot? This is incredibly strong. Oh, that smells like that. It does, doesn't it? Sorry. It's, it smells like somebody's just been smoking cigarettes in here. Stacey, you tell me. Do you like us being in here? Invading the space, you can still talk from there, but I just want to try and cut the people down in here a little bit, so it's not as crowded. So Jess says that she quite often feels feels you in here. Do you like Jess? If you like Jess, maybe you can say her name. And she can chat to you when she comes in. Can you say her name? Can you say Jess for me, please? Nice and clearly. Threatening. No. There's nothing come out that there's it's probably just, it's just yeah. See what you're doing yeah. and go. Can you just tidy this? These and papers. I'm only really joking. I don't know about you, but I'm not. So smelling. Just, I think they asked you to tidy it. Well, <laughs> I'm not smelling that smoke now. So that this was... is what I mean. So there's been days that you can come up here, like, and it's fine. And half an hour later, it literally smells like. Yeah, I've been accused of smoking yeah. in my office. Like you run here, yeah. And yeah. Something's yeah. on fire. Yeah. And you're not allowed to smoke in here, are you? Well, no, we don't know what's what, but no. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny, a few weeks ago, out in that area we were in before, um, we were 
two of us were in the kitchen, one was in the bar. Yeah. The smoke alarm started going off up here. Okay. And all three of us came running and there was smoke everywhere. There was nothing lit up here. Nothing. Right. And within a couple of minutes it cleared. Smoke alarms went off while there was still smoke up here. None of us touched anything. Oh, wow. And yeah. you could actually see the smoke? Yeah. It, we literally was it thought, like somebody had been smoking? You know, yeah. It was a heavy like, smoking room? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. So it's so not like that they, that they fire smoking. All right, Craig. We're live. Hello. <laughs> trying to get our bearings down here. Set up some equipment. So it's um, it's pretty cool actually, isn't it? It's really it's really different down here to what it is upstairs. Mm. Just getting our bearings. It's like where all the bodies were buried. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if there's a different feel down here. It just is a completely different environment upstairs. Upstairs yeah. is really you know really plush and really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Down here it just feels a little bit you know different. It does. I don't know if the guys that. Um, we were out a couple of years ago and we used to do the Port Dock Brewery Hotel after the Railway Museum. Um, same feel underneath that building as what it is to this building. So it sort of takes you, sweeps you back in time, back to um, the AC, see what we can get down here. Upstairs was really weird, so we've reviewed a little bit of that footage and gone back over it. And whilst the session was happening while we were in that small office area, um, our attention got drawn away from there because we're hearing a lady's voice. But it was almost not like a scream, but somewhere halfway between a scream and, you know, high-pitched talking. It was just very weird. So three of us went off trying to find out where it came from. Um, but it def definitely came from inside the building. So that was, oh, really? that was a little bit strange. That's cool. So I don't know what that was, but, you know, we looked at each other and going, who's that? Mm. So it was obviously a, a human vocal that mm -hmm. got our attention. So we headed off after that to see what we could find, but there was no one around. Don't know what caused it. Um, goodness knows in the end, but it was just very, very weird. Hello, everybody. Um, should we start with the nesties? We can start with the nesties. Let me get my ghost box out. I'm just going to put the ghost box on so you can hear how much um, radio talks coming out of it. That way, you know that. Upstairs, when Alison was hearing it, you can um, sort of pick up on how many words would come out of the device. Because sometimes you get the radio chatter all the time, like it's almost constant. Um, but usually, you know, we try to train ourselves so that we don't hear the words coming from the radio. You're listening for a different voice. Um, and so this might give you an idea. I'll shut up for a sec. Oh, EDI has just gone off. Sudden cold change. Temperature's been going up though, hasn't it? Yeah. Temperature's going up, but that was a sudden cold change. So the one thing you notice is as soon as the radio thing goes on, um, EDI goes off, and you also heard nothing coming out of the radio. So that's because we're way underground and you're not likely to pick up any reception here. So it's why it's more interesting when you get words out of it. It can be very focused on the words. So if you get one or two words, probably all you can expect if you're lucky. Um, they might, might be relevant. So always a, a good communication tool when you do not have radio interference. So that's when we like to use ghost boxes. Isn't that right, Clay? <laughs> okay, we're going dark, guys. Who's down here? Old. It is old. Is this the foundation of the original inn? What was it used for originally? Can you tell me that, please? What was down here used for? Did you drink all the bad. beer? What's bad? It was a female voice. Um, female voice was coming through, so I don't know. I only got like that one word and sort of snippets of other words. Okay. But it was definite female voice. That's interesting. God knows why. I'm gonna go back in again. So we're going back in.
Is the cell used as a prison cell? No. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you for that. So it wasn't. Rape. Wow. Again, we've had that come out again, guys. So was somebody raped down here? Leave. No, I don't particularly want to leave. Thank you very much. Can you say one of our names, please? My name is Cag. This is Craig. Cag. You're joking. Really? Thank you. Can you say Craig for me? Yeah. I think you could do that for me. Just, just do Craig. Craig's wife's watching this. Ma'am. Yeah, there's a ma'am. Well, I don't like to be called a ma'am, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Nadine. Out. Is that out or out? Stay. Well, we're here for as long as you want us. Out. In or out? Stay. <laughs> Are you playing games? Can you tell us what those... Out. What? Is this two people playing with us? Was this cellar used as a morgue? No. You know what's really weird? Is the outs is a male voice and a stay is a female voice. I've just said that. I wonder if it's two people talking, two different people talking. Because the first, it, it almost sounds like it, right? Yeah. I, but I, you know, I don't know whether they're talking to themselves or talking to us or whatever, but it sounds like there's two distinct voices. And there's very few words coming out. So every word was, was pretty clear. But the outs was male, stay was a female. Okay, coming up. Yeah. Is Kate trying to get up? Yep, so if we hear a big bang and crash. <laughs> well, I like the way we just leave her scrolling. Okay, do you need an end? Okay. <laughs> really well, it's all fine. Actually, okay, I'll get you on camera, Cag, if you fall from here, so just let us know. <laughs> Small mind, just the way we're just leaving her struggling. Cag, okay, can you fall down for the camera, please? <laughs> what are you doing? You're crawling along the bar floor. <laughs> Me. I think Kay's gone down, everybody. I'm off. I'm going to get out of here. Far out. Kay's still <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Can I just stop here? Did you, you touch that? Did you touch no, that? No, I didn't. But, uh, uh, committed four the four boards. Boards. All right. <laughs> Can you put it Are back you up there? Can we have a warning before the loud noises, please? We got that on video? Excellent. Jesse, someone's watching you, so you better watch out. Yeah. Can I ask if you had a brothel here once? Did you have women, ladies of the night, come here? 
It's strong. Now we're going to turn it off. Can you be polite? Female goodbye, was it? Mm. So the thing is, you, you didn't say at any point you have researched this place because we have. Well, not that I've never really looked no, at no, it. No, no, no. Even when I was doing the tour, I never really included. I never included the Prince Albert in the tour, so I never looked at it because no deaths, no gruesome deaths came up. That's why when I was researching ten years ago. So I was looking for gruesome deaths in um, Gaul. Yeah, yeah, like <coughs> historical ones, not obviously modern ones. But it's trying to teach history in a a different way society was back then. But the Prince Albert was too well behaved. Mm. <laughs> That's what we are. Yeah. So there's a funny thing Margaret coming out of it. No. You know, it's just been it's been really nice again. And the whole thing about doing the ghost stuff is it's not usually in your face type. Here's a ghost. <laughs> it's gonna like do all this stuff. It's just Curious stuff, we can't say it's a ghost, we can't say But a lot of the stuff that came out tonight was quite relevant, if you consider it, you know, like... There was some well-timed answers, mm. but... Yeah, don't know. All right, well, we might call it a night for you so... But we're just getting started. <laughs> and these people want to go home and mock up and... Oh. Clean the pot before we leave. Go clean the pot. Yes, yeah, Josie. And they have yeah. to scrub that floor. <laughs> yeah. to clean your office. Yeah. yeah, well, that's not that <laughs> You're being supervised now by someone, so be warned. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to come down and support the Prince Albert and come and say hi and um, come and have a meal, definitely, because. And definitely, I will never forget the martini espresso. <laughs> like oh best, my god. Best ones I had. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Kate can account for that. She couldn't talk for a little bit. She nearly got yeah. extra. I did. It's I did. Extra, if I yeah. could get, re what was it? Re re reception. 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 <laughs> Great. Reception. So, I mean, as you can see, we managed to get res res reception. 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 She couldn't speak after she had <laughs> <laughs> like, Hey guys, it is seriously a really nice place to um, come and eat, and it's a really nice feeling inside here. Um, so, if you get the chance, you're coming through this way, stop in. Really, really nice people. So, um, you won't, you won't be disappointed. And hopefully, they look after you when you mention haunted horizons. If they don't stay for another drink. <laughs> Otherwise, guys, we're going to go, we're going to pack up, we're going to get out of here, and um, we've got another one of these coming. All right, guys, we're going to sign off. Kag's going to wave. Thanks for coming. There's Jesse, obviously doesn't work very hard. <laughs> it's hardly fair, is it? On the Poor face guy. of the pub, mate. Yeah. See ya. See you, guys. Have a good night.